joining us right now is former Olympic athlete and former U.S. national soccer team goalie, Brianna Scurry. Brianna, thank you for being with us. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. Thank you. You competed in the games. How important is it to have a ton of fans in the stands? And do you think it'll impact the athletes? I do. I, I think it will impact them a little bit, especially um, athletes who um, thrive on external motivation as opposed to internal. So I think that'll be a factor. I think the feeling overall of the games in general is going to be a little bit different. Um, what I would say is uh, the athletes are going to be at least very, very excited to be able to compete, though. And so I think we have to put it in perspective, right? So at least we are gonna have an Olympic games. Uh, they are gonna be able to compete. They're gonna be able to represent their countries. And um, the focus has to be on the fact that they're gonna be able to be there. But the support systems, um, like the family and friends is, is going to be, um, you know, something that's missed. I really think it might be a factor for, for a few athletes. Do, sure. you, do you think, Brianna, that it'll give an advantage to some of the Japanese artists or athletes rather? I do, I do. I mean, there is a real energy that you get from the fans, um, especially when the team is, you know, either on a high on a high streak during a particular event or or on a low streak. That fan base can really pick them up and lift them out of it. And so, I think that's going to be something that all the uh, visiting uh, governing bodies, the visiting teams from every other country, are going to have to really think about and focus on. And I think it's something that they need to address. Uh, in the time that they have before the games begin. Yeah, we want to switch gears a little bit because, of course, there was a big story that unfolded this weekend after NCAA players posted videos and photos showing the difference between the men's weight room and the women's weight room. Now, the women's weight room has now been updated. They got a lot of heavy criticism because Sedona Prince called them out on Twitter and TikTok. But as somebody who has yeah. really helped diversify this industry, what needs to be done to make sports more equitable so that people like Sedona don't have to use their platform to bring this up? I, I think what the NCAA did was, was really, um, really disappointing. I mean, it was the initial thought process, right? So they didn't even think anything of having a, an adequate weight area for the women. And that just goes to the underlying premise that it's not equal. Yeah. Um, because the thought process wasn't there. It took a lot of pressure, um, you know, publicly in order for them to change it. And they changed it within 24 hours. So that just goes to show you that there was always the ability for them to make it equal. And so what I think needs to happen now is a real investigation needs to occur, I feel. I mean, it's just going to be time after time after time. And right now, I feel it's enough is enough. And I think the NCAA needs to really investigate itself and figure out what happened here and not just sweep it under the rug and move on. Yeah, that's a good idea. Instead of just putting out a statement saying, you know what, our bad, we'll make it right this time. Uh, that does make sense. There, there's something that happens after to make sure this doesn't happen again. Brianna Scurry, exactly. come back anytime. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Have a nice day.